Good morning, Gemini. Welcome to your Sun Moon Rising reading. Take the bits that resonate, leave the rest. Okay. Let's see we have see what we have. Angel Spirits Guides for the sign of Gemini. Angel Spirits Guides, what messages do you have for the sign of Gemini, please? What messages do you have for the sign of Gemini? I'll give this one more shuffle. Okay, past, present, future. In the past, four of cups, the sun card. Okay, nine of swords. In the present, page of cups, three of wands, four of wands. In the near future, two of swords, five of swords, high priestess. Okay, your energy is five of cups, the devil, the chariot. What's coming towards you is ten of... Ooh. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, the Emperor. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. Let's get let's get this together. Okay, in the past here there was a lot of stress. There was a lot of happiness, okay, around you. But I'm kind of getting you became bored with a certain scenario in your life, dealing with a certain person, okay. There was a lot of revelations come out. I'm kind of getting there was a honest discussion here on thoughts. There's somebody here that you had conversations with wouldn't admit the truth. You've been doing a lot of reevaluating in your life, okay? Remember in the past you've been. Yeah, your situations, where you live, who you who you're living with, possibly who you're married to, is, and although you were happy at one time, I'm kind of getting you're not you weren't entirely happy with your situation, because in the present present moment you got the page of cups. There's new feelings here, three of wands and four of wands. There's a lot of progress here, a lot of action taking. I'm kind of getting you, for some of you, meeting somebody new. There's feelings growing. This person could live at a distance. Okay. I am picking up relocation for some of you. The selling and buying of a house. Possibly even abroad. Overseas, I'm getting for some of you. But what's most important is you... There's messages coming in, good news, and it will kind of change your opinion on somebody here. I am getting that for some of you giving somebody the benefit of the doubt, okay? But, you know, on receiving this good, mo this good news, it will prompt you to act on the decision that you were stressing over in the past. Like I say, you've been doing a lot of reevaluating about your situation in many areas of your life. There possibly were bouts of, you know, very sad days, okay, regrets. Kind of getting most importantly though, you learn to forgive yourself. There's a fresh start here for you, okay. Now going forward, you've got this two of swords, Five of Swords, I Priestess. Your intuition is becoming spot on, okay? And with all this reevaluation and this good news coming in, I'm kind of getting you're on the move. I'm picking travel up here. Okay. And it's coming to terms with the past. I'm kind of getting you, you are beginning to see the reality of your past. And you're going to let, I'm kind of getting that there's an energy here of letting go of somebody. Okay, or something more like a person. Ooh. In your energy, you've got the chariot, the devil, five of pentacles. It does mean it, there is a bit of a fear factor here. 
it does mean a lot of lifestyle changes. The changes that you're going through now, both emotionally, spiritually and circumstantially, you know, it's they're necessary because it's like the universe preparing you for something new. I'm kind of getting in the past you were you could have been dealing with you felt trapped in a scenario you could have been dealing with somebody that is obsessive possessive jealous resentful you know even had an addiction here of some kind but indecision in the past led to a lot of delays in your life's journey so to speak so it's forgiving yourself for delaying decisions you know, playing your part in the scenario, etc., etc., And sometimes that's the most difficult thing to admit to oneself, okay, you know, I could have acted sooner, I could have done this, etc., etc., etc. But you can't go back in time to re-correct that. All you can do is move forward with a very, very different attitude, which is what I'm getting you're doing. Coming towards you as the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, emperor there's somebody here who you had a lot of stress with in the past they were too controlling okay but what i'm getting is you know you're now taking the leadership role in your life you're trusting your intuition somebody that you've been at disarray with you know couldn't get focused with you couldn't see eye to eye now i'm kind of getting that there is a change of circumstances here. You are now taking control of your life. You are now focused on what you want. Okay. You are beginning to see the bigger picture. You could well be dealing with people in authority. Okay. Seeking advice, especially if there's estate agents, etc., etc., buying and selling houses. But generally here, your personal circumstances are going to change. Somebody here who didn't want to commit in the past now wants to commit. Now wants to take the relationship on to a new level. Finally, kind of getting you're getting your wish. This person, like I say, could be. I'm not getting they live close to you, but I'm kind of getting a great big change of circumstances with you I'm kind of getting moving in with somebody that you know there was a lot of arguments over and because of circumstances you weren't able to commit to each other what I am getting now is finally an end to the delays an end to the stress and finally getting the momentum in life the universe is kind of opening the door for you now Let's get an oracle card. Yeah, working through your fears. Yeah, whatever it is you've been stressing over. Okay, coming to terms with the past. Coming to terms with yourself. Hmm. I'm going to get one more oracle card here from a different set. Helpful people, yeah. Helpful people. Talking to people in authority. Talking to estate agents. Talking to passport people. Talking to the government. Whoever you need to talk to to get where you want to be. OK, but most of all, I can see that your list of friends expanding, meeting new people in a new area. Remain positive is a key issue. OK. Yeah. This is a very, very good reading. I'm going to pull one more oracle card. Ooh. I'm going to pull one more oracle card. Don't know why. I don't usually do this. Just got a message through. 
pull another oracle card. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, it's a time for healing. But a fiery climax approaches, you know. Now this dealing with Aries. Okay. There's your Aries. Okay, so I'm getting there was a part in the ways here. And I'm getting this person is coming back. All right, now fiery climax, it can go either way. It depends, you know, on you being honest and whether you want to let this person back into your life or not. But it's certainly using your intuition, using your wisdom to overcome any opposition, taking perhaps taking a more passive approach towards this person, making compromises. Okay, but the other person makes compromises as well. So I'm talking to the, you and the person you're dealing with. But a fiery climax can be a very passionate embrace. As I say, it can go either way. It's a, it's a make or break situation. It will depend on your particular scenario. And a lot of what you're thinking and feeling at the time. A lot of what your intuition is telling you. Thanks very much for watching.